to be a great people, Kalel. They wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Welcome to the Goodwill. <laughs> Today's President's Day, Monday, President's Day. So they have sales, they have doorbuster deals, usually around 35% off until about 11 or 12, if I remember correctly. And then sales throughout the day, nothing crazy, but still every, every discount is, you know, is much appreciated to, uh, so that way we can keep our uh, buy cost down, but let's get in there and see what we can find. President's Day today, check out the deal, see what they got. Um, no music yet, <laughs> so that's good. Maybe we'll be able to, we'll be able to film in the uh, sporting goods section. But let's see what we got out here. Candles. Here. I can use that metal rack there. Oh, I see Steve walking that way. Let's come around over here. Crazy. Let's go this way, actually. Let's just mix it up a little bit. We found that power supply over here the other day, which was pretty cool find for me. What else we got? Probably. Okay, okay. So we got the Aston Martin. Dope of Dreams. Which we'll take. Neutral Blender. Hey, how you doing, man? Cool, cool. Not so much. So far, okay. Not, I mean, it's just okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I, I still haven't gone through all the shells yet, though. Yeah. But you know me, I gotta pick up my Legos, dude. Oh, Whatever the price is, basically. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, whether it's worth it or not. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go, let's go. Matter of fact, the video is uploading today. Got, I got hit with a copyright because of this aisle right here. There's a speaker right above this aisle, so. Let's take a look while well, there's no music. <laughs> Ooh, Oakland A's. Look at this. Kmart. Oh, man, that is pretty. That is old. We got to buy that. I mean, I'll look this stuff up that I'm picking up. There's a little like, hoverboard thing over there. Nah, I don't want to bother with it. We got some bats here. Mm -hmm. If I have time, I might go swing by another Goodwill. I do have to put in some hospital work today, so. Reggie Jackson, that's nice. Yeah, it's going to $7. We'll look it up, just because it's Reggie Jackson. Legend. Yeah, so I can't be out and about for hours. But I gotta put in my time today and then have the rest of the week to do this. Golf clubs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, you guys heard me talk about the dreams. The dreams is unique to Lego. It's not like anything. So, hey ah some lego sets it's probably too much but 
Yeah. I always buy Legos. I, I can't but stop Legos myself. <laughs> They're complete. It's like it just takes a couple days to sell. Exactly. Check out our tech. You know I love the tech. Um, you know, I don't think I put in a recent video some graphics cards I found, which I probably will, but I did put it in a short, so if you guys want to take a look at my shorts, I have it out there. Look out for some graphics cards, GPUs. The only issue is, you know, you really got to be able to test them to get maximum profit out of it. But if you find it brand new, which would, would be rare on a graphics card. If you find it brand new, obviously, you know, that's an easy sell. <clears throat> the keyboard. Flat. What is this? Logitech. You guys see me. I always sell Logitech. I always pick up Logitech, but this is not. It's like a little tablet or phone Bluetooth thing. Not worth it. I do want to check out over here. Production. open. I did not go look at the glass. I kind of glanced at the glass. Oh, something just ate it. One moment. Smile. <laughs> okay. Let's see. That's a cool puzzle. Not really worth anything, but it is cool. I don't really see anything else here. Cool furniture. So the way the deals usually roll, there's a higher discount on items that are donated, and then a um, lower discount on items like this, which come from Target. Pretty easily identifiable by these um, gray tags here. Ooh, I just saw the price on that. <laughs> I should probably go check out the glass, is what I probably should do. Alright, let's go take a look really quick. Alright, the glass wasn't that great over there. So... Oh yeah, he's over there. <laughs> Hello, morning, good morning. Good morning. Oh, what do we got here? Looking for those good old Jerry Garcia ones. Not really seeing anything though.
really need to take, oh man, there's music over here. <laughs> I was about to say I need to take advantage of there not being music, but. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. Come on this way. Oh, someone grabbed that rack. Dinos. I've got to look this up. Legos, I, yeah, like I said, I'm always, I'm always buying. Definitely going to look up the gloves and um, let's just check out these end caps. Pretty fancy. Mm -hmm. Made in India. Oh, I know. I know. Back over here. Um, 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 um. You know, we might, we might, um, because I'm not finding anything really that great. That's kind of cool. It's not anything, it's not worth reselling, but it is cool.
All right, I'm gonna quickly look up those gloves and make sure the prices aren't outrageous on Legos, but we do get a discount. Um, but I might move over to another to another Goodwill today. Jackson might be 2025, although there's quite a bit of damage on the side. Um, it does have, see that oh, it's missing the leather right here. It's on the inside, they just pulled it through, so. Sometimes it can be restrictive on the thumb here, so some people just don't use it. But it's there, which is great. So I might pick this up. We're going to get a discount on that. Um, look what I found, though, for the collection. Deneen. It's in great condition. I've never seen the shape before, either. Big Sur, California. There's the marking on the bottom. So pretty cool. This will probably go for a little bit more. This might go for about 20 if you were to resell it, but I'm not reselling that. There was a little spoon inside, I guess. It was like that. I get the spoon with it. Um, I can't find anything on this, but I'm going to pick it up because it is Kmart. It is Coca-Cola. It is Oakland A's. It's a really cool just souvenir piece. So, All right, let's see what else we can find. Okay, there's a cool decanter. I mean, it's, it's not necessarily a cool decanter. It's very low quality. Um, one thing I look for in decanters is make sure this makes a very... So, I don't think this goes with this. But you want to make sure that this makes a seal here. So there should be some grinding going on here between those two parts of the glass. This one doesn't. So leads me to believe this probably had some sort of a plastic or silicone. And those I pass up all the time. Something like this. This one has cork, but it actually has some sort of plastic or silicone there. So these ones are a pass. Here for those that may be interested or curious. So it have something dangling on it and it have sand down here. It's kind of like um like a Zen garden type of thing. Not very valuable. Kind of nicely made. Etched. No. This is um Handcrafted in Mexico, recycled glass, kind of got a crackle look to it. It was probably pressed into something to create this sort of, in my opinion, brain-like pattern <laughs> as it was being uh, made. It's kind of cool. Oh. How much is it? Five fifty-nine. It's kind of like a little guacamole dish. Is what I'm guacamole dish is what I'm seeing here. It's very heavy. Not really a brand name on it or anything, but it's recycled glass. It is made in Mexico. Pretty thick. I'm probably gonna pass on it. Alright, let's see what else and then maybe we'll move down the down the road a little bit. Let's try to decide which direction to go in, north or south. <laughs> Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Yeah, here, move those out of the way. Gotta shift some stuff. There's wax for your legs. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. It's all puzzles? It's all puzzles, man. Ah. Puzzles. Yeah. Alright. Oh, no, man. I'm just riding the whole thing. There you go. You gonna pick that up? No, it's not good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Dang, dude. It's, it's a, a haggy. It's, it's like, oh, that's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. It's what's the hop. You know, that might be good. Mounted against the wall? Looks like a wall mount going on. Yeah, probably not. Thanks, David. I'm putting everything in my car. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Here, Dave, you stink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
as you saw there, got a little crazy when a cart came out. <laughs> Everybody's looking for the deals. The music's on now. Um, that cart appeared to just be puzzles and nothing really interesting. I might go take a little bit of a look once, you know, some of the, I mentioned this before, once the top kind of gets peeled away, then, you know, I'll go back in and take a look at the bottom. This is a bacon cooker. <laughs> To tell you the truth, I really don't know how it works, but I just, that's why I picked it up. Uh, nice piece of pottery. Should sell for about $30. Alright. Anything else? I'm still. I'm still debating whether or not to wait here or move down the line. I'm probably gonna move down the line a little bit. Um, I might just go check out that cart one more time, see how it looks in the bottom, and let's see. What else the other good ones have? Hey everybody, welcome to the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed that trip over to Goodwill. And, um, you know, the, our Goodwills here, our, our shelves are just packed full of items. Um, as you see in my videos, you know, there's just tons of stuff that comes through our Goodwills here. And we only pull a small fraction of it. And, you know, everything, there's a lot of stuff going through my mind. And, you know, as we're at these Goodwills, at flea markets, pulling items, there's so much that goes into consideration here. Now, um, a lot of it is price. Everything does, everything will sell at the right price. Um, I truly do believe that. I truly do believe a, a lot, uh, there's a lot of stuff there that I could sell. Um, I see that they, they do sell. They have active, uh, they have customers that are actively buying these items. The problem is, is the price that I have to pay for it to get that merchandise. Is it gonna be worth it? Is it gonna be worth it to, you know, picture it. It's going to be worth it to ship it out. It's going to be worth a box, worthy of a box, I should say. Like some, you know, some of that's, you know, pottery or glass, you know, it definitely has to go in a box. Is it going to be, you know, worthy of me putting it into a box, you know? I don't want to put something into a box where I'm only going to make a few dollars on because the box itself costs about a dollar. So these are all, all the things that are running through my mind and, you know, as I'm searching and looking for items. So... Uh, just take that all into consideration. You know, there's a lot of work that goes into this. A lot of, a lot of, I guess, brain power. A lot of thinking and everything involved with it. So when you're just getting started out, you got to think of everything. You have to think of, you know, what's it going to take to ship that item. You know, are you even going to be, you know, have the excitement or enjoyment or the drive to even want to list that item and picture it? That's why people end up with such large death piles. They just, you know, they get into the buy, 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 buy which is the easy part, but then now you gotta get it home, you gotta make sure it's clean, you gotta get the sticker off, and get that item pictured and listed so that way you can start making your money, and then who knows how long that item's gonna sit for. So, that's the other thing too, is storage space. You know, that storage space storage space is also costing you money, whether you even, if you have it at home, if you have it in a storage unit, obviously if you have it in a storage unit, you have, you have to pay that monthly fee, I mean at home, pretty much most people have a monthly you know they're paying every month for their home um whether you buy or rent whatever it is you're paying somebody um you know so that space has a value and you know is that item that you're buying you know worth it to take up that space all this stuff is going on in my mind as i'm trying to also scan for items so 
Uh, you, you get used to it. Become second hand, uh, or second nature. Second nature becomes second nature. Is what is the words I'm looking for? As you're scanning the shelves, or at the flea market, or at the um, at the uh, what do you call it? garage sales? I just don't do too many garage sales or estate sales. Um, now, uh, just real quick, best prices you can get are at garage sales, in my opinion. Second would be at a flea market. And then third would obviously be thrift stores, Goodwills are included in that as well, too. So, um, you know, I just don't have access to great garage sales. I mean, most of them around here are clothes. I'm not a big clothing person, although I'm going to show you some clothes right now. So, but let me, I'm going to show you a couple of items that sold recently. And these are electronic items. These are older electronic items. And these things still sell. Every time I post little, um, uh, you know, short videos, you know, whether on Instagram, TikTok, or uh, here on YouTube, people always, you know, people are always like, there's no way it's going to sell. You can't sell that old stuff anymore. Who needs the, who needs old digital cameras? Who needs uh, little MP3 players? But these things do sell. This one sold for $20. Picked this up for a buck. Um... There was a guy at the flea market. He just had a bunch of mix, you know, electronics on the ground there. Everything was a dollar. And so I was willing to take a chance for a dollar. And sure enough, this works. This is actually Dell. Uh, it's, you know, the computer company Dell. This is their competition to, or their answer to the iPod, Apple's iPod. It's actually a really nice little device. Um, I don't know. It has music on it already. Charges with a, um, a mini USB not micro USB, mini USB port. And um, I don't know. I, I know you needed Dell software to be able to load music on this. I don't know what, how to do that now. But nonetheless, it works. It has music on it. Actually, there's some Aerosmith on there, which I was listening to. Uh, but it's still sold for a dollar. This has been this old MP3 player. I saw a bunch of old iPods laying around. You know, Everybody loves those old iPods. Um, and they usually sell quick. They just don't sell for that much anymore. But people still buy MP3 players. And if you find the right models, the right brands, which Dell is a good one, um, Creative is another good one, uh, SanDisk. I have a SanDisk one around here somewhere as well, too, that I, I personally use still. Um, but SanDisk is another one. So there are some great older MP3 players besides Apple iPods that still sell incredibly well. So look out for them. Another um, cool thing that just recently sold as well. Oh, wait, did, I, did I say this all for twenty dollars? Twenty dollars right there on that one. Um, and you know, then we also sold some bread and butter stuff. You know, um, where's my phone at? What do we here? Well, we sold um, a watch, Star Wars watch, uh, some books, uh, where the wild things are, puzzle, Nike. Um, um, Baseball gloves, some Ray-Ban sunglasses. You know, some just some obvious stuff that sells all the time. So my goal here when showing you souls is to, is to show you the unique thing, items. I think they're cool too. Unique items that you wouldn't necessarily... You know, you would probably pass up. That majority of the people would pass up when they see them. You know, no matter where you're sourcing at. Here's another great item. And this I got from Savers. I'm just going to plug the, the cord here. Uh, just easier for me to hold, but this is a great it's by grace digital, but it's an internet radio So I don't know if this is vintage yet it doesn't have a date on it, but it's very old You can um, if any of you remember Pandora um, You can link it up to your Pandora account. You can just uh, it'll pull just uh, uh, radio stations from the internet as well, too. So um, but tested and working Great little, it's an, it's a, I believe it's also an alarm clock, so it has the snooze button on there, so you can set your alarm. Uh, it has um, al altern alternative plugs back here, so you could plug in a USB stick in there, and you can get some music through there. And then this one here is um, line out. This red and uh, white one are your AV or audio not video though there's no video here but your audio out so if you want to connect to some better speakers you can do that it also has a this is a three and a half inch millimeter plug so if you want to plug in an mp3 player or some other device that plays music you can plug it in there and it'll play through the speaker on this 
um, radio. So this one sold for fifty nine ninety nine. So sixty bucks on this guy, and I found this at Savers. This was eleven dollars at Savers. Well, a little bit less than that because twenty percent discount. So cool little find there, and then you know packaging this really easy. I'm gonna use a twelve by eight by six box. And, you know, just a few wraps in bubble wrap, and we're going to use some packaging paper. And this will go out nice and easy. Okay, now what I wanted to show you was some retail arbitrage I did. We picked up some great items uh, as far as uh, clothing goes, clothing items. I did pick up some jewelry, but I already... It's already been pictured and stored away, and I wasn't sure what box I put them in. I could have looked it up, but I didn't. But I had these readily available, because I just picked these up as well, too. But this is the brand or designer that you want to look out for when it comes to jewelry that does really well on eBay. Now, it's not going to be, you know, $30, 40 $50. It's going to be more around the $20, $25 range. But Bobble Bar does incredibly well on eBay. Now, the holiday stuff does even better. I remember, not last year, but the year before. Yeah, I believe it was the year before. Uh, was it the year before or last year? I can't remember exactly, but two weeks before Christmas, we got a huge bag. We had, I don't know, there must have been 50 or 60 pieces of Bobble Bear, uh, Bobble, I keep saying Bobble Bear, but it's Bobble Bar um, Christmas jewelry, and we got it two weeks before Christmas. And I sold through about half of that right before Christmas, and the rest of it sold, you know, as you know, the months went on, because Christmas sells year-round. Um, I sold out of it already, but each of those, the Christmas items, went for $25 to $30 a piece. And we had Santa Claus, Rudolph, all kinds of different Christmas um, earrings. They're all, they were all earrings, too. But this is um, this one I got at the flea market. I got it for a couple bucks. This was up for $20. This is just a couple of um, uh, sharks. And the uh, bobble bar are generally just very sparkly uh enamel rhinestone earrings you know very well made uh earrings so you'll find these a lot at you know i really don't know where they come from because i find them at tj maxx <laughs> and um and the goodwill of course and the flea market so uh but bobble bar look out for it they do have collabs with um other brands like disney i have found disney stuff over at tj maxx however at tj maxx are usually priced around when they're on clearance, that is, because that's when I look for it, around 10 to $12. So it really has to be a good piece because it's really only going to sell for around 20 ish dollars. So, um, yeah, Bobble Bar, look out for it. It is at TJ Maxx. I don't know, I've never seen it at, at uh, Marshall's or the other discount places like Marshall's and Ross. I've only seen it at TJ Maxx, and I primarily go to TJ Maxx when I'm, you know, uh, feeling like searching for some or doing some retail arbitrage. Okay, I've had great success with clothing at TJ Maxx. Um, recently, I sold off a bunch of uh, Project Rock by Under Armour uh, sweaters. They had some like sweater hoodies with the cutoffs and everything that did incredibly well. You gotta look for the clearance stuff though. Don't buy it at full price. Here's some items I picked up at clearance. $29 each is what I paid for these. They did have other pieces. Um, and I was hoping they would price match it. Because the other pieces were priced at $40. I was like, ugh, $40 doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really make sense. But at $29, it does. And this is, if you're a reseller, you might know of this. You might hear a lot of people talk about this. And you watch other reselling channel, but Peter Millar. And these are Peter Millar, just kind of lightweight little sweaters for the spring and summer. You know, sometimes around in California, it gets pretty cold in the mornings, uh, especially during the summer. It'll be cold in the morning and then usually uh, warms up and get hot in the, um, you know, towards the midday, afternoon, evening, when it starts to cool off again. Especially if you live by the coast. The coast is amazing here in California. I don't know about the East Coast, but... Um, you're on the west coast <laughs> it is very nice if you're by the coast um we are close to the coast here in san jose but um you know if you're up san francisco and all that i'm not really a big fan of san francisco but uh san francisco has some great weather especially during the summertime it does get hot here from time to time really hot um but it doesn't last that long so it's tolerable 
Okay, but Peter Millar, these are some lightweight like sweaters. So we got this one here, this one here, and these are all new with tags. That's what makes it worth it, is the new with tags here. So easy to list, easy to picture. There's no cleaning involved here or anything. There's no washing of the clothes. They are already ready to go. They have their tags and it makes it so much of an easier sale than, you know, having to try to, uh, you know, figure out all the flaws, make sure you fill out your, you know, description appropriately with used clothes, getting it home, making sure it's washed, finding out, oh man, there's a rip in it, there's this in there. When it's new, it's a whole different ball game. It's so easy, makes life easier for a reseller. So that's one of the reasons why I do like retail arbitrage. It just makes life a little easier for us. Um, now, there is a cost associated with that. These are $29 each. Now, $29, you might think, dang, $29 for a shirt or for a little uh, lightweight athletic uh, pullover. Uh, but because it's Peter Millar, it makes it worth it. These should each sell for right around $70. So, and no, don't also, you know, we're buying, we're paying retail. So we got 29 plus tax on that. So we have to take that into consideration as well, too. So we played, you know, what do we pay? Close to like $32 for each of these shirts. So $32 a shirt is quite a bit of money, but we should be making somewhere around double that on each of these shirts. So I don't do a lot of retail arbitrage because I don't like that high buy cost. Um, my preference is, you know, obviously you guys know to be at the flea market. Um, the other two jewelry pieces that I got with this was a uh, Bobble Bear um, Mickey Mouse, which should sell for around $25. And then I also got a... Um, Oh, what was the other thing I got? Oh, yeah, it was a bobble bear, too. It was a bobble bear set of earrings, but it was... The earrings were in the shape of, like, an engagement ring, like a ring with a giant diamond on it. And that actually sells for around $25, so... Um, and those, you know, I paid... The earring... The the ring earring was $8, and then the um, Mickey Mouse was $10. So, you know, the buy cost is a little bit high... We're going to make a little bit less, but for the ease and the, just the fact that it's brand new, you know, makes it worth it. So, got some great items here. Look out for Peter Millar. Definitely a brand to look out for. As far as the used Peter Millar, it goes, you know, for probably about half that, probably around $20 to $30 for the shirts if it's used, but I got the tags on mine. Here we go. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in um, in any more retail arbitrage, let me know down in the comments down below. We can definitely take some more trips out to um, Ross uh, Ross, and what's the other one? Marshalls as well too. I don't typically find the I don't typically find good items at those two. Typically it is TJ Maxx where I find the best. So at the best price and the best quality items as well. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. If you want to see another video on retail arbitrage, we could definitely do that as well. Um, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And what a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like to, can see, to continue to see content from me. And hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when these videos drop. Sorry, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, usually right around midday. But we'll catch you guys in the next video.